On my way to school, I was woken from my trace by a heart-rending scream. Completely shocked, I looked around and saw an organic waste bin. I slowly approached the bin and opened it. What I found was a desperate, slightly bruised tomato crying tears. Save me, save me, I still taste good. In addition to this little tomato, named Dimitulina, there are thousands of other fruit and vegetables crying out in the inn for helping, hoping to prolong their lives. My name is Nikolinka Fertana and I teach mathematics and science with a focus on physics at a public business school in Vienna, Austria. I have the great pleasure to take you on a journey that will introduce to you a sustainable way of thinking about food. I have made this journey with my students on many occasions with great success. Let's have a closer look at the food waste worldwide. 1.3 billion tons of edible food is wasted or lost along the value chain every year. This represents around the food all food produced globally. There is no significant difference in waste between developed and developing countries. The losses are 670 and 640 million tons respectively. The authors of the study conducted by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations estimate that Europe losses 280 to 300 kg per capita per year across the value chain. Europeans and North Americans throw away between 95 and 115 kg of food per thousand per year. Fruit and vegetables are particularly affected by this waste, even though most of them are still edible. Retailers also throw away mountains of food. Compared to Europeans and North Americans, people in Africa and South Asia waste very little. Food losses due to harvesting or inadequate facilities for storage, packaging and refrigeration are as high as 40% in these countries. What is the picture in Austria? Let's study the pie chart in order to understand the situation in the country. In Austria, about half of the avoidable food waste is generated by households alone. This means that up to 521,000 tons of edible food and up to 800 euros per household end up in the bin. This unnecessary food waste has a huge impact not only on our valid but also on society, nature and our climate. If food waste is stopped now, first, 1 million hectares will be freed up. This is equivalent to the entire agricultural area of Upper Austria. Second, 16% of greenhouse gases caused by food waste will disappear. Third, 1.24 million people in Austria who live in poverty and do not have enough money to buy food will improve their living conditions. That is one person in seven. In terms of income, each household in Austria will have about 800 euros more at its disposal. The statistic shows that bread, confectionery and bakery products are most often thrown away, 28%. In Vienna, as much bread is thrown away every day as grass eats in a day. Fruit and vegetables come second in terms of food waste, 27%. Dairy product, eggs, comes third, 12%. And finally, meat, sausages, fish, follow in third place, 11%. The empirical evidence on food waste worldwide and in Austria is worrying. To raise my students' awareness of food waste, I started the Waste Food Hero project in my science classes in 2022. What is the idea behind Waste Food Hero? The city of Vienna promotes market culture and is constantly striving to not only maintain but also expand the market in the various districts. These markets offer fresh fruit and vegetables every day. The Big Dandler Market is located near our business school and supplies amazing residents 
of the 10th districts with fruit, vegetables, and other groceries. Unfortunately, much of this food is thrown away every day because it does not meet the consumer's expectations. The target of our project is, first, to collect this edible food, fruit, and vegetables on a regular basis, and to prolong its life by processing it into tasty products at the school science lab. The resulting products will be offered to interested parties at cost prices. Second, to teach young people and adults in workshops how to store food properly so that it does not spoil quickly. Third, to give interested people cooking ideas about what can be made from the surplus food we buy. Fourth, to compost some of the biomass in our bee garden and use it to fertilize the plants. And finally, the production of biogas is also desirable for conducting experiments in science classes. You are probably wondering how we tackle this problem. The answer is quite simple. We use our skillful hands to turn unattractive fruits and vegetables into delicious delicacies. Our range includes products such as wild garlic, capers, pea mustard, basil and chili pesto, orange marmalade, and dark chocolate coated orange and lemon peel. Our prototypes were sold at a stall we set up in school before Christmas and Easter holidays. Please take a closer look and enjoy our product. We had the great opportunity to attend a Gamma Challenge competition. Our project was to win of the first prize. Take the waste food hero into your hearts and give the little Tomatolina the voice she deserves in our society. If you save fruit and vegetables, you save the whole world. At first glance, the waste food hero motto, if you save fruit and vegetables, you save the whole world, seems like an exaggeration. However, it has its origins in the Talmud, which says, whoever saves a human life, saves the whole world. This quote points out that we must value every life and not assume that one life is more important than another. Food can only be valued to a limited extent according to key figures, indicators, and productivity. How people treat the food reflects the quality of that society and its values. Ergo, our understanding of welfare has its origins in the Talmud. Let's work together to save the food in order to preserve the values of our society. Let's sum it up. Food waste is a significant global issue, with approximately one-third of all food produced globally being wasted or lost along the value chain. Waste Food Hero aims to address food waste by collecting and processing edible but unattractive plant food into tasty products, teaching people how to store food properly and composting biomass. Finally, our food treatment reflects our society's values and understanding the importance of saving food helps preserve these values.